Okay, one of the first things we need to do now that I'm over here on my actual portable system that's attached to my Statler, I need to set up a couple of important settings. The first thing we're gonna do is deal with the fact that on an Apple versus a PC, the way you right click is different. So we need to deal with that right now. So I'm gonna come up to my uh, program and go down to preferences. And over here I wanna select the keyboard and mouse option. And then I have a mouse shortcuts. I want to actually turn on that my control clicking on my keyboard on my Apple will actually translate into the Windows environment as the secondary button click or right click. That's very important, otherwise you're going to have a hard time right clicking on anything and same thing for editing or doing any pattern work inside of AutoSketch installed in this way. Okay, the next important thing to do is to set up your network information correctly so that it communicates with your Statler. So we need to go into the this installation of Windows settings. So I come up to the top of the screen and it says settings right here while I'm in Windows. So I'm going to click on that. You have lots of settings. But the thing we want to look for is the network settings. So as you can see I have it's connected, but I have three different choices. I can use what we call a NAT or I can set up what we call a bridged. I want to click on bridged because I need to have my Windows machine that's sitting inside my Apple, I need to have a separate network address from the rest of my computer. Okay, I'm going to click on Show All, and then close that window. So now I can go ahead and set up my network preferences correctly. I'm going to come up to my My Network Places, My Network Connections. And I can see here I have a local area connection. That means, in other words, the actual internet connection that's hooked right into my, physically right into my laptop. So there's a network cable or ethernet cable connected into the back of your Dell computer. You can unplug that and plug that into your Apple's um, network port and that's going to be your local area connection. Now I want to come over here. See I need to be able to right click on this and that's why we made that change earlier. So I'm going to hold down the control and click. It'll pull up my right click menu and go down to properties. Now I'm going to come over to internet protocol being TCP IP and then click on the properties. Here I want to set up a couple of settings to be able to communicate properly. So set up your network address as 192.168.0 and here it can be you know, lots of different things. So let's go ahead and try 200. And your default gateway is going to be 0.1 and let's just go ahead and throw in the DNS. We'll put in the same for for that figure. So go ahead and watch these numbers here and I want you to match these numbers in your network connections on your installation of Windows. Click OK and close. Okay now that we have this network setting set up correctly we want to go ahead and actually set up our registry so that it can communicate with the Statler. We're going to go to our start menu, all programs, and look for our Statler stitcher. And then come down to what we call DMC net. You wait a couple of seconds, and you should eventually see your Galil controller appear in the list of possibilities. You can see my IP address is .0.100, and found on NIC, in other words, this is the network card that we just set up with that .200, and the .100 is the address of your actual controller. So we can see that it did communicate with it correctly. If you don't see this line, then something's not right with your Ethernet cable or the way the network was set up. I'm going to click on Register and no when it asks me this question of whether or not I want to edit the registry. Now I know that my controller has been registered. Now before I actually go and launch Creative Studio I need to take my USB key which is either red or black and go ahead and put it right into my computer. And of course if you have an older system that has a parallel dongle you won't be able to do this at all because most pretty much any Apple computer nowadays doesn't have a parallel dongle ability. Okay, we see that it's new hardware found. Now it says ready to use. That means I'm communicating okay with my encryption key. Okay, now we can go ahead and launch Creative Studio. Now that I have my key inserted, make sure you have both your red and green buttons switched on. We see that we have 2.0. And uh, it's hard for you to see at the moment, but my machine had just twitched, and now we have asked to move the upper right-hand corner. The system is now fully operational, and it is operating a machine head, 
and I am using an Apple to do it. So congratulations, and uh, go ahead and post any comments or any emails if you have any questions about this process. Pretty simple, but pretty powerful. Thank you.